Hi, I'm Bobby Perry, and I'm a 16-year volunteer with the American Cancer Society, uh, including its Relay for Life signature fundraising program. So the 10th annual uh, American Cancer Society Relay for Life occurred this past weekend in Cranberry Township. Um, Relay for Life occurs in more than 5,000 communities in the world, um, and there's about 30 that happen in the uh, greater Pittsburgh region, including Cranberry Township, where we just recently celebrated raising $1 million um, over a 10-year span for programs and research for the American Cancer Society. Oh, Relay for Life is an, is an overnight event that um, is the signature fundraising event for the American Cancer Society, and it, um, its purpose is really to um, raise money for programs and, and research so that we can finish the fight against cancer. Um, Relay for Life started in 1985 in Tacoma, Washington, uh, where one man, Dr. Gordy Klatt, decided to uh, walk a track for 24 hours and, and thus Relay for Life was born. He raised $27,000 the first year all by himself walking one track for an entire 24-hour period. And since then it's um, taken a uh, storm in 55,000 communities across the, uh, the world. And it's an overnight event that includes a carnival type atmosphere where teams fundraise, they do games, um, they do all kinds of great events to, to keep people motivated and, and really to, to help us remember why we're there, um, to honor our loved ones who are fighting cancer and to remember the ones who, who have lost their, their battle and to keep them in memory um, with us throughout the entire event. The Cancer Prevention Study, it, its official title is Cancer Prevention Study 3. Uh, it is the third CPS study, Cancer Prevention Study, for the American Cancer Society. Um, its predecessors um, are, were, were milestones in the fight against cancer. It, it's hard to believe, but at one time people didn't realize that um, smoking and lung cancer were connected until one of the cancer prevention studies. So. It, this third study is really going to build on the previous two and build on a couple other studies that the American Cancer Society has done in its 100 years to help us find more links and help us find more ways in which um, cancer is, is found in people and to hopefully find a, a cure, um, a hopefully in, in our lifetime, for um, cancer. And the study is started in the early, in the mid-2000s, around 2006, and its target is 300,000 people across the country between the ages of 30 and 65 who would take part in the study. Um, and it's a, it's a simple process. I just did it, in fact, for the Cranberry event. Um, it, it's it's uh, a little shot, a um, needle rather, for uh, to pull some blood. And it's every two years or so, um, the society will send um, a quick survey to see how you're doing, to um, offer some questions on your health and over time, over a 20 year period, um, the goal is to decide, to, to help decide um, what might cause cancer um, in this current study. Um, as I said, there was the link between smoking and lung cancer and another study that the society did also found links between cancer and obesity. Um, and again, those are things that at one time people didn't realize, um, but thanks to um, previous cancer prevention studies, um, we have determined that there are links um, to cancer. I first got involved with the American Cancer Society 16 years ago um, when my grandmother was diagnosed with bladder cancer. And following that, my mom got involved with the local relay in Moon Township where I grew up and um, it sort of blossomed from there. She, she unfortunately um, never made it to a Relay for Life event. She died um, several months before um, the, the event we were joining. And so, so I've, I've held her memory with me um, in the past 16 years that I've relayed and I've, I've taken it from Moon um, to college where I created an event and then back home to Moon and um, I've been involved for with not only the local events, but I also am involved with the leadership team um, across the division where we help um, new volunteers um, create events and help them, them build their events. But through all of that, my, the memory of my grandmother remains strong um, in, in my relay um, adventures. I have to say that a lot of my friends really question why in the world I would want to stay up for 30 hours. The events are 24 hours, but the planning, the setup and, and teardown is really a 30 hour time block. My friends question why in the world I'd want to stay up for that long. 
and I laugh and I think, you know, just come out and experience it and you'll, you'll understand why I do what I do and why I spend all year doing what I do because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a diverse group of people who come together really from all walks of life to, to celebrate and remember loved ones who have cancer and who have died. Uh, and it's, it's so moving to, to see the Luminaria ceremony and to see the different events and how people really just come together for Relay for Life and for fighting back against cancer, all in one effort to, to finish the fight against cancer. For people that are interested in getting involved with the cancer prevention study, it's actually wrapping up um, at the end of this year. So by December, they will close the study uh, period. And in the region, um, for folks who, who are interested in, in getting involved, there's a couple CPS3 studies taking place in Belmont County, Ohio, um, in later in August, August 24th and August 27th. Um, there are more study events happening in the fall here in the region, uh, and they're happening all across the country. To find out more information, you can go to cancer.org slash CPS3 um, for all of the information and to pre-register for some of the sites. Relay for Life occurs in you know, several communities around the region. To find your local Relay for Life event, you can log on to relayforlife.org, uh, type in your zip code, and find the relay of your hometown. And if there isn't a relay in your hometown, it, it's a great time to um, start one and, and figure out you know, who in the community can get involved and, and help us finish the fight against cancer.